Hey guys, I'm going to do a little review on the uh, Condor uh, plate carrier today. Um, this will just be uh, quick and painless, I guess. Um, what I'll do afterwards or later on uh, is I'll review the individual little things on here. But for now, I'm just going to kind of break down uh, what, what I like and what I don't like about this vest. Um, to start off, this cost me like $80, I think, in a retail store. Uh, this is the this is the actual Condor one. Um, this isn't the OE Tech, mind you. This is Airsoft too. I'm not reviewing a uh, freaking uh, Kevlar vest over here. And if you hear some thunder in the background, I'm sorry. There's a thunderstorm outside, and uh, yeah, if that gets in the way, I apologize. Anyways, uh, this has got a lot of space on it for pretty much anything you need. Um, I've got freaking uh, triple double stag mag pouch thing on the front. This is also by Condor. Uh, I, hold, I can hold six magazines on the front on here. And I got five in there. I got room for a uh, my little gadget pouch on the left hand side. It's also on uh, Airsoft GI. Freaking I got my uh, radio holder on the front. Got some places for some patches up there. And on the other side I got my freaking IFAT kit. And then there's still room for more on the side, rest on the cummerbund on this side and on this side and all over the back right here too. You could also where you can integrate uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, you could weave one part through here and one part through here if you want. You know, it's just whatever. There's a lot of space and a lot of potential to pretty much uh, outfit this vest however you want. Um, this is also really lightweight, uh, let me just say. Um, I've got a flak jacket on me right now. Hang on. This flak jacket right here. This is uh, an interceptor by Point Blank. This weighs more, uh, pretty much with everything stripped off of it, uh, except for this uh, saw pouch. Um, that doesn't weigh anything, but that whole vest weighs maybe five times as much as this does. Probably not. Okay, it weighs about as twice as much as this does. Um, the IFAC adds a lot of weight, but um, this is just, it's just really, it's really, really lightweight. All it's made out of is nylon. It's, it's really durable too. Um, I've had this for about eight months, and I've played through a lot of ops, a lot of really long ops, and been in the dirt and the mud and the sand and everything, and I've just beat this bad boy up, but it's still holding up, and it's still uh, hanging in there, and uh, it's a really good vest. Um, I guess for, for its cost, it's, it's $80. I would say this is a, definitely a wise purchase, just because you could be spending a lot more on a vest uh, that doesn't, I mean... It doesn't do half the things this does. Um, let me just go over how to get this on and off real quick. Which, what you do, uh, if you want to put it on, uh, there's a little button on the bottom. It's like a strap with a button in the back. All right, you're going to undo that, and you're going to lift up the front flap right here. All right, and you got two more flaps underneath. All you need to do undo is one side. So you open that up. you got a clip on the inside right here. You're going to unclip that. And all you're going to do is throw this over your shoulders after that. All right, you just slide in from the side. There's that uh, thunder I was talking about. So once you got it on, you're gonna clip it shut, all right? And then you're gonna freaking put the other flap over your side, and then bring the front down, and then button all that up, and you're good to go. However, uh, I'm gonna say this is gonna be pretty loose when you first get it. What you're gonna need to do is go to the back here, and you're gonna have to pull out. Uh, I'm gonna try to find the best side to do this. This is not an easy task when you got a lot of shit on here. Um, there is like a... Fuck me. There's a... Fucking... Uh, like a... Elastic band in, in the back here. Um, that basically... Uh, you're supposed to be able to tighten it if it... If it gets too loose, I guess. But this does not do anything. Um... I mean, if, if you're big enough to the point where you actually have to loosen this. Wow, holy shit. It's probably the loudest lighting I've ever heard in my life. Um, yeah, if you're, if you're big enough so that you have to loosen this all the way, um, you probably shouldn't be playing yourself in the first place. Uh, what I did is I just took some freaking uh, zip ties here, which I'm going to have to uh, redo in a second, actually. I'm just going to do that right now. Uh, to show you, I put, put one end of the zip tie through one part of the molly, 
on the side of the cummerbund. And you bring the other side of the cummerbund to you. And uh, you're just going to basically make like a little, a little loop so that it can keep it kind of secure. However, my uh, zip ties keep coming undone. Let me get that situated for you real quick. All right, so just like that. All righty. So now, once you go, once you go uh, zip tie the molly, or once you you know tie some bootlace through the molly, or whatever you want to do, once you got it secured, you're just gonna slide it back in there, and it should be tight and good to go after that. For all of us medium build people, uh, and no offense to anyone that's over 350 pounds. I mean, you can still wear this vest, but. Uh, Hey man, just lose some weight. I don't care. Whatever. Just uh, don't be nasty. You're good to go. Freaking. That's how you get it on. That's how you tighten it. Uh, there's some quick release buckles on the back right here. Freaking. Uh, has never really done any good for me. Doesn't do shit. Uh, because, I mean, it's really easy to throw over your shoulders. Um. Yeah, uh, I don't know what else I can really say about this. It's got like a, a little uh, pouch in the front here too. Just put whatever you want in there. I got some tickets, I guess. I forgot those were in there. I want a free rifle with those. It's pretty cool. Um, also in the bottom, this is where your sappy plates would go. If you had some sappy plates, probably don't want to wear a sappy plate for the playing airsoft. They go in this pouch right here. And then they also go in the back. All right. And uh, there, if you, uh, there's like talk of people being able to flip your cummerbund around. All right, I've tried to do that. It doesn't work. Here's why. All right, you've got freaking the male end of the Velcro, female end of the Velcro, all right? Male end connects to the, vel the female end. So when you basically, you got the, the, the plasticky, sticky, the plasticky shit right here and the fabric, all right, that'll stick to the top of this cummerbund, all right? You flip this cummerbund around, basically, you've got this uh, plasticky shit on plasticky shit. So, like, I mean, I can't really do this for you because I got all this gadget pouch in the way, but what would happen is you would put that down and it would be like fabric on fabric, and this, you know, it'd be the same material touching each other, and it doesn't hold it tight. All right, it's just going to slide out, and it doesn't do any good. All right, normally, you don't, you don't flip this inside out anyways on a real vest. There's places for, these are for side sappies, all right? These little pouches right here, don't let them tell you that it's, it's for storing extra shit. That's not what it's for. You'll, you can hold side sappies inside of those little, uh, those pouches there. Unless you're like really in desperate need of like holding something and you want to stick it inside this really inconvenient to reach place. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's my little rant for you guys. I'm sorry if I seem like I'm, uh, like frustrated or something. I'm not. It's just, that's just how I talk, all right? Um, that's about all I can tell you about this vest as of right now. If you got any questions, you know, let me know. And uh, I'd be glad to uh, answer your questions here on YouTube. Just post uh, the comments in below, and I'll, I promise I'll get back to you guys. And uh, I'll do some more reviews of the uh, extra little uh, pouches that I got on here later. Uh, I guess I'll just end this off with saying, you know, the price, $80 made by Condor. Uh, it's definitely worth it. I would say buy it if you've got the money. Um, there's a lot of other plate carriers out there. I'll make more reviews of some other ones later. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching, guys.